Welcome my fellow creators. Today we're going to be taking a look at a sliding door that I based upon a design by Runner Luke, a user on my Discord server that you can join by following the link in the description down below. But anyway, let's just use it. So as you can see, it is open right now and we can hit either of these buttons to close it and it is quite fast as you can see. If we want to open it again, we can press the button once more. It is sadly not synchronized perfectly, but I think that's okay. And you can even choose these blocks here to be any blocks you want, besides ones that are not moved by slime blocks. So terracotta, for example, I mean glazed terracotta, normal terracotta is perfectly fine. But now let's move on to the redstone tutorial. You can see all of the items required for this build in my inventory right now. And I've already built the doorway. So down here there must be immovable objects such as glazed terracotta or obsidian. But you can choose all of the walls in the door itself by yourself as long as they are not immovable objects. Then we just create a slime block shape uh, just like this on both ends. And then we also place in our last door block right here. I'm just going to use pink for now. Next to that pink, we're going to place in hoppers on both sides and then just observers facing down. And I'm just going to continue with one side for now and do the other one later. So place in another observer facing into that side. Now place in your obsidian or immovable objects right here. Then a double piston extender on both of uh, the slime block ends just like this. And up here uh, the double piston extender is quite simple. You just place in a block behind them, then a normal piston above it and a observer to complete it. Then uh, down here we want to have the same thing on the bottom, but we also want to have a piston facing up and then another observer and now it should extend like this. We just have to place in the observer twice, just like this. And then coming back to this side, we're going to place in a one tick repeater, which is going to go into a block with redstone on top, powering this pink block. Then we're going to come down here, take a output from the observer with a redstone dust, going into a repeater on one ticks, uh, then into a block and powering a another redstone dust. Finally, we want to come uh, up from this observer, place in a hopper and place in another uh, observer facing up, which should extend this. So place it twice again. Finally, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So place in a block with redstone on top, a one tick repeater, then a block redstone next to that and of course there has to be a block below that observer one tick repeater and then finally redstone dust powering this and now you should be done you just have to place in the buttons and these can be any buttons you want just no levers because uh, levers don't give a uh, give two outputs from these observers and as you can see, it functions perfectly. Now the last thing to do is decorate the place. So I'm not going to leave it pink. I'm just going to use some white. Sadly, that's already it for this video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to support the channel. It helps a lot and I really appreciate it. If you want to join me on Discord, just follow the link down below, as I said before. But anyways, I hope to see you in the next one.